Good morning everyone, happy Friday. This week we're going to be chatting about number two plastic, which is HDPE or high density polyethylene, um, that's what we call it in the industry. So the reason I wanted to chat about uh, number two plastic is because I feel like we've discussed number one plastic a lot and I just wanted to highlight that number two plastic is just as loved and used um, within the industry as well as purchased by you guys, the consumers. So. Everyone I imagine will recognise the products in front of me and they are all products made from number two plastic. So we've got our milks, creams, uh, cleaning bottles, we have things like shampoo and conditioner. When the products are recycled, they tend to be remanufactured into things like outdoor products, um, tables, chairs, uh, pot plants, plumbing and pipes. Here at YPAC we um, remanufacture our number two plastic waste into these safety caps which are made um, or in, used in construction. So the reason that number two plastic is so popular, um, well there are a number of reasons and some of them are that it is incredibly strong. So if you were to drop a number two plastic product Rather than it, than it cracking or shattering, which does happen in plastic, it's likely to bounce away, so it's incredibly durable. Uh, the next one is that it's, ex, it's so lightweight. So a lot of people who are really conscious about the impact that they're having on the environment really like the option of this lightweight but strong product because obviously the lighter the product, the less impact that it will have on the environment during transportation and things like that. Um, the last really key thing is the UV resistance of number two plastic. So in products like um, milk, where it's got a shorter lifespan on the shelf, UV resistance is incredibly necessary and number two plastic helps it stay on the shelf for longer than otherwise possible. Um, some other things, if we think about shampoo and conditioner, they stay in your shower at all times and get wet. So the number two plastic is really good um, when you need a high moisture barrier. Um, so that's just a little bit about HDPE. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm thinking maybe we could look at a blog for the differences between HDPE and um, PET because they are both used just as regularly as each other. They're both highly recyclable, but they have very different uses when it comes to what you choose to package your products in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, leave a comment below if you'd like to know any more. Thank you.